we got the AFC North division. And look, I want to let you guys know if you want to watch the breakdown, the breakdown of each game that we predicted, you can find that on Sports Study TV and just look for the team that you support or want to see. We'll put the links in the, in the description to all the uh, each video that's linked to each team, whether it be Bengals, Steelers, Browns, and Ravens. So we know that um, Cincinnati, Joe Burrow, there's a potential issue. Probably some people say it's not a big deal with the calf. He'll be ready for week one. Now, at the time of making this video and making our predictions, we made the predictions with the mindset that Burrow will be playing every single game. So if something changes, then I guess we have to live with that. But as of right now, we have Burrow playing week one in every game, and we expect him to be the best quarterback in football this year, which is why we have the Cincinnati Bengals at a 15 and two record. That's right. Cincinnati Bengals will have the best record in football. They'll be 15 and two. And that's all I'm going to say for now. I'm not going to make any predictions on the playoffs, but obviously they will be the number one seed. And that would be that. Now let's look at the Bengals. Uh, the two losses this year, the Bengals will face. We'll just give you a little preview of that. If you want to watch the full Cincinnati Bengals predictions for each game, you can go to Sports Study TV and look for Cincinnati Bengals. Now, we think the Bengals will lose two games at the end of the season. They both will be on the road at Pittsburgh, December 23rd, and at Kansas City on December 31st. Those will be the two losses that we predict for the Cincinnati Bengals. And the New Year's Eve game will probably be the big game for the Kansas City Chiefs and Cincinnati at Kansas City. That would be one of the games of the year. I think the Pittsburgh game potentially could be a big one too as Steelers will be uh, violent for a playoff spot. And that would be a very important game for the Steelers as well. Um, another game will be a big game, probably even bigger as far as... Uh, will be December 4th at Jacksonville Monday Night Football game of the year as Jacksonville will be hosting the Cincinnati Bengals and the reason why we think that's going to be a big big game because I think coming into that game Jacksonville at that point of the season will be 11 and 0 so they will be taking on Cincinnati who also will be undefeated at that point as well um so two undefeated teams uh no sorry Jacksonville will not be 11-0 Cincinnati would be 11-0 excuse me at that point and they'll be taking on Jacksonville who will be 9-2 at that point all right correction so that would be in our opinion Monday night game of the year so December 4th big game at Jacksonville December 23rd at Pittsburgh is going to be huge Sun Saturday night, uh, Saturday evening, and December 31st, New Year's Eve at Kansas City. So big December games for Cincinnati as the pressure mounts on if they can go undefeated. The pressure will be on when you get to like week set 15 and they are totally undefeated. People are going to say, can they break? Can they go through the whole year undefeated? And I don't, I don't think it will happen because like I said, when you have two games at the end of the year at Pittsburgh and at Kansas City back to back that's going to be a tough tough road and plus the playoffs are they already clinched the playoffs at this point so they will probably be resting a bit and not really going as hard um so we definitely will see uh and let's just be honest the Pittsburgh and Kansas City games even at home at week 16 and 17 according to our predictions those two games will be way more important for Pittsburgh and Kansas City because Kansas City will be trying to fight off the LA Chargers for the division as well as Pittsburgh trying to fight their way into a playoff spot as they'll be battling in the for that sixth seed as well as trying to avoid the seventh seed 
with uh, the New York Jets. So there's a lot of reasons why we think Pittsburgh and Kansas City will both be the, the two losses for the for Cincinnati because of the hunger for those two teams at the end of the year trying to secure a playoff spot and a division title. So, um, but there's other good games on the schedule, of course. You got the division games, Bengals, Ravens. That's going to always be good. Uh, the Pittsburgh one, of course. The Even the one before that as Pittsburgh would face Cincinnati November 26th on Sunday. That would be a big one. Because I think Kenny, Kenny Pickett... He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna be pretty good. I think he's looking, he's gonna look pretty good. He's gonna look pretty good. So, as we transition to the Pittsburgh Steelers, right? We got the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Kenny Pickett. He will. Uh, I think the Steelers are gonna be eleven and six this year, and in an impressive record. Kenny Pickett seven and four against the AFC, which is very really important because the AFC is the superior conference, and Kenny Pickett is gonna win some big games this year and Mike Tomlin and the Steelers I mean Mike Tomlin's you know the success he's he's had the consistency with the Steelers you gotta give him credit for that uh for having um a winning record for so many years straight and there's gonna be some uh some key victories here I think the a nice one's gonna be November uh, October 29th at home against Jacksonville would be a, a nice win, a, a big game for Kenny Pickett. Um, also, if you look at the, uh, I'm going to say December 7th at home against New England could be a big game as well, as New England is trying to also uh, stay ahead of the Jets for the AFC East in our predictions. And then the big game, the biggest game of Kenny Pickett's career would be December 23rd at home against Cincinnati which we expect the Pittsburgh Steelers to win as this will be a must win as the Steelers look to try to get into the playoffs because they're going to be within a margin of error between Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Baltimore where all three of these teams will be within three games of each other throughout the year. So there's like a, a margin of error is like three games between Pittsburgh and Baltimore. So any type of game, so Pittsburgh versus Baltimore this year, key that Pittsburgh sweeps Baltimore, right? Because which will happen? Pittsburgh will sweep Baltimore. They'll win both games, and then the Cleveland game, they will also they'll split with Cleveland. So it's very important. The margin error is very slim. Like anything goes wrong, a game here, a game there, and Pittsburgh could be out of the playoffs. But we predict the Steelers will be 11 win team, and will get the sixth seed as they will have the tiebreaker over the New York Jets. And somehow we figured it out. I don't know how we figured it out. I think it was conference record or whatever. But they ended up with the sixth seed at 11 and 6. So that's that. Cleveland. The Cleveland shits. Uh, Cleveland Browns. Excuse me. 9 and 8. I think the Cleveland, look, Cleveland's going to have a better year, right? They're going to be better, but they're not going to be playoff. A playoff team they'll be a playoff contender but they won't make the playoffs right they're going to be right on that bubble nine win team right there with buffalo and tennessee and the raiders and they're going to miss out they're going to miss the playoffs by a couple of games unfortunately and the reason why that would happen because i mean losing early in the season to pittsburgh at pittsburgh could be uh a bad loss and not being a good road team this year right I mean, losing on the road at Pittsburgh, at Seattle, at Baltimore, at Denver, at LA, at New York, and at Cincinnati, when you're not a good road team, when you can't win on the road, you're not going to win, you're not going to make the playoffs. And you're going to need to win road games this year to make the playoffs, and Cleveland will not win on the road. I think they're going to win maybe one game on the road, maybe two all year, and that would be at Houston, which everybody should be able to do that at Indianapolis those will be the only two road victories this season for the Cleveland Browns but they'll still win nine games it'll be a semi-success nothing the only thing guaranteed in Cleveland is Deshaun Watson's contract so that's that 
And the last but not least, the last team in the last place team will be under 500. The only team in the division under 500. Uh, the Baltimore or, uh, Ravens. I was about to say Orioles. <laughs> Think about baseball. Deshaun uh, Lamar Jackson, the running back slash quarterback or running quarter, whatever, quarter runner. <laughs> this, Lamar Jackson, not going to be a good year for them. Lamar Jackson's overrated. He might be one of the most overrated quarterbacks in the last decade. The guy had one really good season. He happened to win MVP. Caught the league off guard with his running style. Now the league is caught up to him. He's not a winning quarterback. This guy cannot win. And the Ravens are going to continue to struggle with him at quarterback. And at some point, they may think about moving on. And I think that conversation is going to really come up after this season because he's going to struggle. He will struggle. There's going to be some big losses here. Um, they're going to uh, they're going to win eight games, but that'll be more so because of getting fat off the NFC, uh, mostly the NFC West, where they'll beat San Francisco, they'll beat the Rams, they'll beat Seattle. Um, that's where, and they'll beat Houston, Indianapolis. So they'll, they'll they'll get a lot of wins off of low level teams or marginal teams they won't beat really any elite teams all year i think uh they'll lose to jacksonville they'll lose to miami they'll lose to pittsburgh and they'll lose to cincinnati and um stuff like that they lose to detroit and um so they're not gonna they're gonna be uh they're gonna win the games they probably should win and they'll lose the games they probably should lose that's pretty much the season for baltimore eight win team for the Baltimore Ravens. And look, look, Ravens, Dirty Birds, or whatever you're calling yourselves out there, you know Lamar is overrated. You know it. So let's not pretend that he's not. He is. So let's recap. Cincinnati Bengals, 15 and 2. Pittsburgh Steelers, 11 and 6. Cleveland Browns, 9 and 8. And the Baltimore Ravens, 8 and 9. Now, in this division, two teams will make the playoffs. And that would be the Cincinnati Bengals will be the one seed. So they'll have the bye week. And the Pittsburgh Steelers will make the playoffs at 11 and 6. And they will have the number six seed. That's it. Cleveland, Baltimore. Try again next year. All right. So that is it for this AFC North preview. Now, guys, subscribe to the channel comment in the comment section please if you are a fan of any one of these four teams and you believe that we are full of shit let us know why rep your team do not be afraid and we do reply to comments maybe make a video about it if it's if it's a good enough comment um uh, and let us know what you think if you don't agree with us and you think your team is better put it in the comments tell us if you think uh, Cincinnati is not a 15-win team, tell us why. And also, let us know if you're a Bengal fan, are you really concerned about Joe Burrow's cap? Because I think that can really determine, that can really uh, put a wrench in this whole operation here if Joe Burrow somehow is not Joe Burrow. Right? So, we'll see. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, if you want to watch any one of the breakdown by breakdown win loss record for any one of these AFC North teams, go to Sports Steady TV on YouTube or Facebook, but YouTube is probably better, and you can find each one of the teams. We have all 32 NFL teams win loss breakdown by breakdown. This uh, on the Sports Steady TV YouTube page, this channel, Gridiron Steady. More likely, we just have a more condensed version of. A summary of the wins losses and who we think is going to win the division so that's it all right guys sports page run by sports fans Peace.